Oh, all right, you guys. Here is the CEO of Petroleum, Mr. Olympia, first place on the podium. Small man complex like Napoleon, the only one doping with oil and opium. Real life comic, he could be on Nickelodeon. Cartoon character, call it art. If you throw a dart, his body blows apart, tears a muscle, rips a bone apart. Call it an execution. French Revolution Bonaparte. He's like a mix between cow and pony. Gross and disturbing. A mix of Halloween and the old company, boss Ben van Burden. It's hurting the eyes to see body dysmorphia, an obsession with correction of a certain body area, much scarier than anorexia. His arms want to get a pump in, his arms are built like a pumpkin. This guy looks like he's holding two basketballs inside him, fake arms like Kardashian Kim, call Andre Igodala from the Miami Heat, time to get the ball, hot day spare a dollar there's heat. Time to change the oil. Not sure who they think they are fooling. Their body is the only thing they are fueling. He's drinking it because only oil gets the goil. His biceps has a beer belly, rotten smelly, wobbling like jelly. He's an idiot to so many, burn it up by R. Kelly. He's not a clown, but the entire circus, happy but nervous. What's the purpose of having arms run like circles? It only hurts us like nerf gas. But he's like, I'm not worthless. Big arms, I worked for this. Everybody wanna be like Ronnie Coleman, but some people work in the coal mine, digging for coal but finding oil. It's not very cool, man. If you look on top of a mine pit, you see the pit head. If you look at him, you see a fictional character just like Pinhead. AKA Cold Man, the Black Pope of Hell. Ronnie Coleman is the only dope one you can tell. Now he's giving us a double biceps pose. In his sparkling shirt, he took his daughter's clothes, flexing like he's carrying two guns. But when he tries to cross a border with a shirt in blue like water, they won't stop him because the arms carry cooking oil made of vegetable products. Here is a guy showing off his body, acting like he's a hottie. He spills oil and hot tea because he's never tight but always sloppy. More oil than an Audi. He had to stop washing his clothes in the ocean because of too much oil spill. All fake, no skill, I guess. Next guest, Dr. Phil, not even impressed. Turns around to show back, perfect, to pin a kick me sign on his back. His shirt says, she squats bro, but why are your pants wet though? If you were in a fight with him, he would throw hands real slow, almost slow-mo. Next, Kenny K.O. Here are two guys at Pizza Planet. You know, the gym with a lung alarm, say a dump bell. One of them works out his pec muscles with two dump bells. They decided to take a whack by adding weight. It dropped faster than the Nasdaq of the United States. <laughs> Always check your back before going home. Michael Jackson said, who's bad? He responded on his own. He went to the dog and bought something ridiculous. His life is a cage like Nicholas. He looks old for his age, unlike young Nicholas. Oil right you guys. The gym was invented to keep the human healthy, but it's also the easiest way to feed your own ego and show off. The ego can destroy a lot, so be a big person, skip the E and let it go. This guy managed to squat deep with the heavy weights. Stupid or not, he still got a workout in by stacking the plates. No bromance, no romance. Thank you.